the MBA is really, really beneficial for three groups of people. One, who need it to like accelerate in their career. So a lot of PE firms or, or, or banks say, hey, as an associate, you need an MBA to get to the principal level, et cetera. I think across the board, if you look at like probably the top 15 or 20 PE funds, 80% of them require that still. So a lot of the, the, the associates go back to MBA to do that. And, and the reason you do that is to get that holistic experience on, you know, not just finance, but like, you know, operations, marketing, et cetera, as well as start building some of the relationships I just talked about that are crucial once you get to a senior associate, principal, then director partner level at, at a PE fund, which is like the relationships are everything, right? So I think, and I keep overemphasizing that because I want you guys to get in that mindset now, but that's one reason. The second use case is for someone who's looking to switch careers, right? Number three is someone who has done a traditional career or any career, but wants it as a point to embark on their entrepreneurial journey. So again, I'm oversimplifying some of them. Um, I do say, I did say it adds, adds a lot of value, but also has a lot of opportunity costs. So for you, I think suspend that question. You can take the GMAT now, but maybe see how the first couple of years of your career go, right? So, um, and I've talked to people who are analysts at banks who want to go to the MBA now already. And I've talked to people who are in the PE side who called me and said, hi, I want, I want to think about an MBA and I was talking about it. So, so much of it is, is your story, um, but it's also a challenging like um, thing to get into, right? Some of these schools have like a sub seven, eight percent rate. So I think you have to yourself crystallize in your mind why you want to go get an MBA and, and kind of why, what that'll, that'll, that'll impact for you. To me, again, it's, it's person dependent. I think overall, if you were going to ask me binarily, yes, I think it's additive to your career, but only if you are laser focused and getting that value out of it because it is like, it's 200 grand. It's, it's two, and even more than that is two years or opportunity cost of you not pursuing your career. Right. So, so kind of keep those in mind. It's not a one size fits all. I do tend to see more people go do it and, 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 and people in MBA level that I, that I work, that I work with as part of Elevate end up going, doing really great careers because there's, it does open a lot of doors, but it does also, there is that optionality question that, that I throw back out to you.